So I'm just going to show uh, you quickly how to convert uh, data types or some data types into other data types. And I might go on to uh, just re reassigning values to variables or changing the uh, values of variables. Anyway, let's get started. So let's imagine that we have a story where a child uh, is X amount of years old. So child name. is how old age years old okay print children of age years of age are fun are fun or funny we'll say funny are funny yeah so we want the child name as a variable so we'll call this child uh, Arthur yeah. So Arthur is age years old. And we'll have the age as 7 or 11, whatever. The age isn't that important, really. And we'll, run, we'll put that in so that you can see uh, that, the, the, that Python has actually accepted those variables, the values of the variables. And we'll try and print this. And as before the two data types are not compatible. So what has to be done is the integer, because this is of type integer, in fact, I can prove that to, to you by putting in type there, and age, age is of type integer, and child name should be of type string. Oh, sorry about that. Got ahead of myself there, didn't I? Child name is of type string, integer and string. So they're both different types and for that reason, they, they can't be uh, concatenated as a string. So we've got a string type here, a string type here, an int type here, and a string here. So I'll put a quick comment there as to what types we've got. So we've got string plus string plus int plus string and what we want is string plus string plus string so in order to turn this into string plus string plus string we have to change the integer into a string so using the function str brackets argument this will convert anything in the brackets that can be converted into a string into a string so it should convert age into a string and so this should now be string plus string plus string plus string let's try and run it Arthur is seven years old I've messed it up a little because I haven't got enough spaces, but that's fine. What What's important is that it has worked, is that that is now a string and so it can print. This saves us from having to type this as a string. If we want to use it in something else, for example, uh, number one equals uh, age plus 99. Right, number one is age plus 99. And now we'll find out what number one is. It should be 106. And there you go. So maybe age has uses as an integer uh, beyond this story. So we have had to just convert it within the story. And we're going to use it for other purposes. In fact, I can show you another purpose. Age 2 
equals nine. And we'll put child name two equals. Um, we'll we'll say now we'll say Martina. We'll say my Martina. Okay. This shouldn't print, so we'll change this again to be string string string. So str of age, and that is also going to be string plus string plus string plus string. Okay. Now, what's this warning? Oh, it's just an EFL. That's fine. Now, let's say uh, that I want to put this. The combined age of Martina, so child name 2, name 2, plus we want a space, and... And what's the name? The name is, oh, I better have a space there. And Arthur is age plus age two, seven plus nine. Now, I could write this out as simply 16 as quotation marks, but let's say there's thousands and thousands of line where these two ages are many. There's many. Let's imagine there's 20 age variables and there's thousands and thousands of lines that use all 20 or many of these variables. It won't really be an option to type them in manually, so we'll have to type them in this way. We'll have to convert them, for example. Okay, so we'll put in age plus age yeah and what we'll do is we'll put str here and we'll put age plus age in brackets and this plus this is 16 so this should now be a string of the value 16 yeah how's that invalid syntax ah okay i see why what? That's fine. I don't know why it's doing that at all. What the fuck? Where, where's the error? There is no error. That's a string. That's a string. That's a string. And that's a string of those. Let's just get rid of that. What? That's fine. I don't know why I did that. Ah, that's why I didn't do it. Okay. Let's just define all of this, actually. Quickly, while we're here. The combined age of Martina and Arthur is 16. There we are. So that's worked. Right? So, why did I have to put both of these in the same bracket together? I'll show you that. So, let's say print... Combined age is da -da -da, plus str of age plus str of age 2. This will not give me the value I'm looking for. It will not give me the value 16. It should give me 79. Now, the reason why that is giving me 79 is because 
I'm not adding two values together, two numeric integers. I'm actually adding two strings here. So the first string is age. So the first value I'm adding to combined age is seven as a string plus nine as a string. Well, if we put these two together, they just become this. Yeah, they just become 79. They don't actually, um, they don't actually come out as 16 because this is an adding of two strings. They, they, it doesn't add the number like in traditional uh, addition, like in mathematics. What happens here instead is that the two strings get combined with each other. The same as if you combine two words, they become uh, a part of maybe a sentence. Like uh, the is one word, old is another word, and hen is the third word. The old hen. That makes sense. So that's the addition of three words. So we're treating the numbers with word addition rather than adding the numbers together, then converting the added numbers into a word. We're converting both the numbers individually into words, well, strings, and then they're adding the two strings together. So we're doing word addition on two separate numbers rather than turning the two separate numbers into one number and then converting that addition, that, that, that integer addition into a string, if you follow me. Yeah. Another thing we can do is uh, rather than integers, we can actually add uh, two, we can add a, a string to a uh, converted boolean. So, hello, my friend, ah, uh, comma, are you true? But I am, um, uh, whatever the response would be, true or false. So let's make a true or false value. Um, Veil you equals true. Okay. So I am plus veil you str of veil you. That's what we want. We want that to be a string value. So veil you. Let's run that. I am true. You see how it's added that true value? Now, if we get rid of this uh, str conversion here, it won't print because it's trying to add a boolean to a string. You can only concatenate string, not pool, which is this, to a string. So we have to convert it to string here. Now, if you ever find yourself uh, having to add several values in a, in a print statement that are of different type. This, this formula here is a good way of converting everything to string to d gradually convert everything to string. So for example, the x in x is whatever. We maybe want an in, int value plus int val, yeah, plus int val 2 yeah. and zerx is true so let's imagine that we've assigned an int value to uh, an int value variable called int val and a second one to int val 2 and then we want zerx to be true okay or false or what and zerx is boolean val yeah at the moment our addition is a string plus int plus int plus string plus bool what we want is string plus string plus string plus string plus string okay so let's copy and paste that and try to uh, convert it to So, 
with this here we've already learned we put the str function and we put both of the numbers together so that they add up okay so we've turned both of these ints now into a string so we go along our formula and calculate that we've added a string plus a string plus a string plus a bool oops i should just copy and paste that wasting time here you see that i met your mistake that it's amateur hour copy that and then paste that here and we shall turn this bool into an str and this should be string plus string plus string plus string and if these uh, variables were actually assigned this would work this far this this first print statement wouldn't this second wouldn't either but this third one would probably work and to prove it I'm going to assign values to these three variables so interval can be equal to seven interval can be equal to three that means the addition of the two should be ten so x in x should be ten. Oh, I forgot my two there that's fine oh, put that there now let's make boolean val equal to uh, it doesn't really matter we'll put false actually in in this uh in this statement and we'll uh yep we'll confirm that they work and then we'll try and print this may work may not work the x in x is 10 so that's right and zerx is false so as you can see that's worked and this is a good way in a print statement or just in general to eliminate uh, data types and to make sure you converted every data type to the right data type anyways hope you enjoyed that and uh, i'll see you in a another one